Hello plant people, how are you guys doing today? If you're new around here, my name is Ashley and I'm a soil scientist and in today's video we're going to do a farm garden tour. So if you guys are new to the channel, you may not know this, I have my garden in this city and then I do have one out here at the farm. Two very different mentalities. So the city one is more peppers, tomatoes, hot climate crops that need a little bit more attention such as pruning and that sort of fun stuff. And then the one at the farm is actually just really basic crops it's in ground so it's not containers and raised beds what you would see in the city and it's kind of my favorite version of gardening if i had more space in the city or I had more ideal soil or time to actually take to amend that soil properly i would i would do in ground hands down every time so i'm gonna turn the camera around and we're just gonna do a quick walk in, up and down the rows show you some things that are going on here and um just to give you an idea of where i'm at so here I do have some dill that I can start harvesting, but I'm gonna leave it. I kind of want my heads to set seed just to reseed the area. This I'm working on for a video, but I decided to stop midway because I want to get this filmed before it gets dark. So these are my beets. These are all carrots. And yes, they are not thin yet, but again, that's gonna be a whole video unto itself. I don't do a ton of zucchini, so this is you know four zucchini ish plants so this garden is not monitored during the week there's no heavy work going on here and this just proves to you that pollinators are going to do the work for you you don't actually have to pollinate anything in order to get a yield because they got lots of zucchinis already populating and popping up here and i'm not out here pollinating so there is some harvestable zucchini on there so i may grab some off and if you follow me on instagram you can actually see kind of how i cook with my stuff and what my daily harvests look like from some of these areas so carrots and then i have two rows of corn here my weeding in the middle and then i have cucumbers my cucumbers were very sporadic in how they came up so i put cucumbers from there to here which is about 20-ish feet. And then I did seed another 25 feet here of cucumbers, but I had bad luck with my seeds because that is all I got was about 10 feet. So I only have about 20 or I guess feet total of cucumber, but that's not a big deal. I was in a cycling accident and so <laughs> my weeding is like very far behind, but we're good now, we're good now, we're caught up. We have bush beans. Again, I have some yellowing and some weird stuff going on in the center there. I'm wondering if there may be some residual chemical in this soil, such as like what would be used in pastures. This was an old cow um, pen area. So it wouldn't shock me that something like this would be suffering in this area, but it's, an, it's a newly established um, plot, I guess you could say in this area so I did it was literally pasture like this um, cut down and then rototilled under so this is only the second year in this space it just takes time um, before everything will be hunky-dory good to go but that's just something I need to watch out for because that is the second year of bad luck with beans which makes me question that there could be something residual in the soil especially with the yellow leaves I did have some cupping and like odd leaf growth in the beginning of the season and then the rest of the plants are okay but broad beans in particular are not doing good these are my peas i do need or i should have trellis these because they're going to be a total nightmare to actually harvest from they're very close to harvestable though which is actually kind of nice <laughs> but we'll see what happens and then these are my spaghetti squash in here so if you did not know spaghetti squash you don't really have to do much for preservation you literally just store them at room temperature and they will last several months pretty much but they're uh, pretty big and they're right next to a ton of potatoes here so these potatoes are pretty close to harvesting if you kind of dig under and feel because i do mound my potato so very loose earth on the sides you can feel potatoes forming they're not quite ready for harvest so i'm gonna let the flowers die off and then i'll probably go in so once these potatoes are out these spaghetti squash are just gonna literally move into the area so when it comes to in-ground planting um the way i like to crop typically speaking is really high intensity so close together lots of plants 
And the theory there is that if you don't end up with sporadic growth or poor germination, the theory is, is when you really grow things nice and tight and full, you get less weeds. And then the plants themselves are, are dealing with their, um, just dealing with plants. So with the potatoes and the spaghetti squash being close together, kind of like an intercropping method, these will be harvested out and processed. And then the spaghetti squash can move in and take over. This area here is mostly nitrogen fixers. And so this when it's removed is going to be pretty much bare ground, but then the cucumbers can actually move into this way and some of the spaghetti squash can go over this way. So this row here, these three rows technically will be removed and then these um, potatoes will be removed, which will give the vines lots of room to grow and have fun. And then my blockers to prevent them from getting to my root veg, such as my carrots and my beets, are my corn. So this is just literally peaches and cream corn. Um, it's good for preserve. It's also good for fresh eats. So there's lots of different things. And then I did have radish here, but that's already harvested and eaten. I should have planted more, um, but I didn't. I don't know. I, I don't like radish and only my father-in-law and husband <laughs> like radish so if they're not in a radish eating mood they don't get to eat as much either so my corn's probably mid that or bottom of my thigh high so not too too big but kind of large but yeah that's literally it it's super simple nice simple setup healthy 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 soil um just really nice loam. It's not heavy clay, it's not heavy sand. The, there's been manure, composted manure placed in this area. Um, but other than that, no compost, no special treatments at all. So like I said, I usually say this quite often, but you can literally put a garden anywhere. This is this. <laughs> so it's literally put on top of a lawn or into a lawn because we just, just tilled it up and that's a really good way to start a garden without you know the labor intensiveness of maybe um, cardboard and importing compost because you can imagine what the bill would be to do cardboard layer and then compost this entire area up so and then this is actually my sister-in-law's side so she's got onions i'm doing my onions in the city actually my onions in the city are a little bit bigger, but these are sets, so I don't know. Maybe that has something to do with it. Mine were starts, and then she's doing... Her beans do look a lot better than mine do, though. Beets, carrots, carrots, cucumbers. Her cucumbers did the same thing as mine, just really shoddy germination, and then <laughs> lots of radish in seed, but there's nothing wrong with that. But yeah, I just want to show you guys really short and seat what this looks like. I mean the world is your oyster you can literally put a garden anywhere and this is just an example of that very happy very healthy i don't get out here to fertilize i'm not fertilizing at all i'm just letting the ground and the earth do its own job and for watering it's literally watered whenever my father-in-law turns the sprinklers on slash rain so i'm not out here to water nearly enough and then weeding it's like maybe once every second ish week except for this last little bit where i was injured it's a little longer than that but other than that yeah really nice and simple so i hope you guys enjoyed this i did get some feedback on the city tour i guess you could say um that you guys want to see what this looked like out here and how i'm managing it so i thought i would show you guys real quick I want to thank you guys so much for watching. If you enjoyed it, be sure to give it a thumbs up. Hit that subscribe button and let me know in the comments down below if you are an in-ground, raised bed, or container gardener. I would love to hear it because I'm literally all three. <laughs> I'll talk to you guys later. Bye.